All right. Start with a clean knee out. You can cut the ends off. The two ends stay together. Just how it is. Both sides on the inside. The strong end of the stem goes here. And this starts to twist. See how that happens? Mm -hmm. Very important. Always hold this one. Keep a good tight hold on this one. Rose will exercise your thumbs. Okay? So if you've done a rose before, you know the folds basically, right? So you just take this and you fold it like that. Both of them. Okay? Both of them together, all right? I did See one fold? individually. Yeah. Spin this a little bit. Get it towards like... See, it's nine, fairly sturdy. Yeah. I get it close to like here and there's about this much of that fold left. Then I'll do another fold trying to make that a good corner and then you're gonna go to the next one fold it again go to the next one fold it again so now I'm starting to do a little triangle thing where I'm gonna stagger these folds in between the other folds this is totally different than the way we do okay so then at this point in order to make it open like a flower you have to switch your hold so you're not holding it like this you're gonna train the flower to instead of just roll around in circles it has to open up so, it goes like this, okay? The two fingers applying pressure to this twist and the stick, and this one applying pressure down to keep it flat, okay? So I'll make another fold. This one lines up with that, but that's all right, because I'm gonna change my angle a little bit and get it in between those next ones. And see, I just spin it, fold it, spin it, fold it, and see how it's flattening out over here? Instead of going straight up and down, I'm, I'm training it to go flat. I'm gonna train it way harder next time. Yeah. I'm gonna pick this spot in between those two and give it a fold. See how it's in between those two previous uh -huh. points? Using that, you're building, you're increasing the space in between these so you can build the bigger diameter of a flower. this and we're gonna take this I'll have to put a crease right here give that a bend and then insert this end into one of the inner folds of this okay so that's gonna be what grabs this flower and holds it to the stem oh nice then you want to take like usually if I'm on the wall I'll smash it on the wall or whatever mm -hmm. but take something and push this in a little bit so it becomes tighter split this in half you start with these outer ones where it'll go around the stem and then pull tight see and then continue that one more time and make a knot and then when that all snuggles up to itself it's a double knot wrapping around the stem as tight as you can get it while pushing this up so you're compacting this right now and go to the next one these two that were left over same thing i'm gonna do one wrap way up tight mm -hmm. tighten that up see how it gets real nice and tight right there yep. then finish your little loop like that and snuggle it up now if you have any floral tape which is great for roses the green tape the only sticks to itself yeah that's what this is for that's okay. on our list so what you'll do is you'll take this if you have floral tape, cut this off, put it next to that, and then tape this up. Roll the tape up really tight around here and really tight down, okay? This becomes the little leaves. Okay, so you got yourself, that's the flower. And I will actually take these like so when I'm weaving, and smash them. And that'll really crease these so when it dries, it wants to stay this way. The double knots help it when it dries so it doesn't spring open. And if you have tape, you tape the shit out of this thing and then press it back down like I just did, and it'll stay like that forever. If you don't have tape, 
try and take this thing any way you can to try and secure this thing so when it dries it wants to stay where it's at so give that even one more knot and then you end up with kind of an extra awesomeness there but without the tape this thing when it dries it wants to expand out yeah. but then you can give the girl a rose on the stem or 12 long stem roses for a special case <laughs> so spray them with a little bit of perfume <laughs> awesome